Okay, all right, I admit, some of you may find this installment incredibly ridiculous, silly, and just downright retarded. But from my honest opinion, even though there were immense flaws in this chapter of our saga, it still is a whole lot of fun to watch, at least for my personal flavor of choice. You'll see why in a few moments. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be reviewing the last chapter in our Indiana Jones quadrilogy, leading up to our upcoming installment in a couple years, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It's the height of the Cold War, and famous archaeologist Indiana Jones, returning from his latest adventure, finds out his job at Marshall College is in jeopardy. He meets Mutt, played by Shia LaBeouf from Transformers, a young man who wants Indy to help him find the legendary Crystal Skull of Agator, and the pair set out for Peru. However, deadly agent Irina Sp Falco, played by Kate Blanchett, hopefully she'll return in How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, coming only to theaters March 1st, 2019. I'm so excited. Anyway, she's searching for the powerful artifact too, because the Soviets believe it can help them conquer the world. First off, the CGI in this film looks really great this time around. I mean, sure, a lot of you will find the CG terrible in a sense, but not me. I thought the CG looked awesome to me. Also, there's some familiar sound effects heard in this movie as well. I just noticed the TIE Fighter explosion sound, this sound when something goes off at a certain time. All that was from Star Wars. Again, same studio. Props. The camera work and cinematography also captures the spirit of our beloved action hero that we come to know and love. Even the adventure. I mean, it is still the same capture the flag plot heard a million times, but still, what does it matter? If it's an Indiana Jones adventure, it still has to involve some sort of artifact that they need to find to add to the museum, right? Anyways, the performance from everybody was still superb. Karen Allen's back as Marion Ravenwood. Harrison Ford still kills it as Indiana Jones. Shia LaBeouf was incredible. Just kudos to Steven and Spielberg all around. He knows what's up. But I'll give them this though. The alien abduction scene was a teensy bit confusing. Just a teensy bit. The CG on the alien was a little bit disjointed and the UFO came out of the ground for no particular reason and that was something that they need to fix in their next movie but I don't really care. The execution still fits, the characters were developed and articulated really well, and the humor was not necessarily laugh out loud funny but they were entertaining to watch, at least for me. But of course, let's bring up the obvious elephant in the room that everybody's been talking about. The whole nuke in the fridge scene was ridiculous and over the top, I'll give you that. But for my personal opinion, just like I said on my Stardust reaction, if you guys are following right now, I just come to accept it. What else can go wrong? Overall, in the end, for my personal opinion, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was fun, exciting, energetic, and adventurous. That's the most important part about this movie. So as a result, I rate Kingdom of the Crystal Skull 5 out of 5 stars. My opinion, not yours. So keep quiet and respect it. Not a reference, not even sponsored. So Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, have you seen it? If you have, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Was it awesome? Was it terrible? Answers down below, please. Also, if you like this video and you want to see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. And also, follow me on Stardust so you can catch Catch early reactions of movies, TV shows, and trailers. I'll put the link of it below in the description so you can download the app for yourself. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out. Peace out.